Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Opera 101 with Cleveland Opera Theater. Opera 101 is our Monday through Friday family-friendly series where we take you inside um, this strange and wonderful world in which we live. Today, we're going to respond to um, a question we had submitted. Um, Anna Christensen asked, um, uh, I've wanted to learn more about this for a while. Question about the principal singers. I would like to know more about how their work during a rehearsal period um, and what their schedules typically look like. Um, in the previous video, it sounded as though they are present in only less than half of the different rehearsals. Are there other things they do meanwhile to get prepared or do they have a lot of off time? Very good question. Um, <clears throat> so um, I figured as an example, in honor of it being um, Verdi month, we would use our production of Traviata as an example for what it, what capacity each singer is in the rehearsal room versus what else they're doing. So the first thing um, in terms of preparation, we all, singers, conductor, principal orchestra players, principal singers chorus, all of them, it is always expected that we show up to the first rehearsal completely off book. We need to know our music. There is absolutely no time to play catch up once the rehearsal period starts. The rehearsal period is not to learn the notes or the rhythms or basic things. It's to make music, it's to finesse, it's to deal with phrasing and deal with you know more subtleties. So in terms of preparation, singers have their own way of doing it. Some people like to go to a vocal coach. Some singers like to do it all on their own. Sometimes a singer will reach out to the music director or the assistant conductor um, or a staff coach or pianist and work on the role preparation with them. But regardless of how, singers are supposed to know the music, be memorized by the time they show up to the first rehearsal. And that's imperative for the rehearsal process to work. Um, secondly, moving on. So let's take, for example, Traviata. We have the, the three principles, Alfredo, Violetta, and Giorgio Germont. Then you have the compromario roles, or the character roles. Um, Dottore, Barone, Marchese, Flora. Um, and then you have the chorus. So we start with the chorus, and that's usually only three rehearsals with the chorus. And for something like Traviata, because the compromario singers are always with the chorus, they would be called for that. Um, they double the chorus a lot and it helps the chorus a lot. One, to have the strong singers that are being cast in those roles there and to hear how they fit in with these singers. So those three rehearsals will be chorus and compromario. Then we go to uh, music rehearsals with the principals. Um, you know, usually do about three or four um, within the span of a week. And those will be all the principals and the compromario singers. Typically no chorus. We've worked with the chorus, we've got them in shape. So this is just music with all of the singers. So they will be there for all of those rehearsals. Granted, um, you know, a lot of the compromario singers don't sing in act three. Um, it's just the dottore, um, the doctor. So once we get to act three, we'll dismiss Barone, Marchese, Flora, because there's no need for them to sit around if they don't sing. And then when we move to staging, we basically call based on scene. So typically our schedule, we do two weeks of staging rehearsals, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. with an hour break for lunch and a two hour break for dinner. So it's, it is a pretty long schedule. Um, <clears throat> it's a 12 hour rehearsal period, but rarely, is one singer going to be called for that entire time? We try to schedule it, so we'll do three hours, they're here with these people, three hours, three hours. Um, in a show like Traviata, Violetta is going to be at pretty much every rehearsal because she is in pretty much the entire opera. You have the very beginning of act two with Alfredo's aria, and then the very end of act two with the um, Germont's aria and, you know, the little back and forth between Alfredo and Germont, but almost every other part of this opera, Violetta is there. So she's going to have to be at way more rehearsals than anyone else. Alfredo is there for most of it too. So how 
much a singer is at a rehearsal really depends on how much of the opera they're in. Um, but for a principal role, it's, it is definitely a very long schedule and there is not a lot of off time. You know, when we're putting together the schedule, we try to do as much as we can to give the singers uh, breaks in the middle because we don't want them to hurt their voices. And that's why in staging rehearsals, you know, we always encourage singers to mark, which is to kind of half sing so they're not really straining their voice because we're not working on music, we're working on staging. And we have all these things, but it is a, it's a very busy and involved schedule. Now, when we get to orchestra rehearsals, first two or three orchestra rehearsals, it's just the orchestra so we can deal with the same sorts of things that we dealt with uh, with the singers, with the chorus, um, with the orchestra. So the orchestra is in good shape before we put it all together. Once we get into what we call tech week, um, we have basically everyone there all the time. The Zitzprobe and the Wandelprobe are orchestra and singers. Zitzprobe, the singers are not doing any staging, they're just singing, it's just a music rehearsal. Wandelprobe, they are kind of doing their staging. They're wandering around and it's, it is just a music rehearsal, but it's to address musical concerns such as I'm stay, I'm way up, you know, stage left. I can't really hear the orchestra. We need to figure out a solution because you get into the space, you get with the orchestra. There are always a host of complications. It's unavoidable. So that's what we use Vangel Probe for. And then from then on, we usually have a uh, tech rehearsal, um, which is more for the tech and design team, um, lighting, queuing, um, all of that stage management. And so the singers are there for that, but not singing. Sometimes we don't have actually call the principals and we'll use stand-ins. It, it all depends. Everyone does that differently. Um, and then we get to the piano dress, um, which is, again, more of a technical thing. We're doing it more to just get everyone comfortable with the staging. And then with Cuban Opera Theater, we do two orchestra dress rehearsals, which of course is everyone, and that's beginning to end. We give our notes afterwards, um, and then we have the show. So essentially, it's, it's a lot of time. Um, I mean, and in the question you had asked, are there any other things that the singers do? Typically, hopefully not, because we don't, want, you know, hopefully we don't need that. Hopefully the rehearsals are enough, everyone's on the same page. In the event someone's really struggling, absolutely, the conductor or the assistant conductor will sit down with them and say, hey, you know, I, I notice we're having some trouble here, let's go through it. Let's just meet one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, at the piano and go through, we can figure everything out together. Hopefully that doesn't need to happen, but if it does, that's um, that's what we do. A lot of it also depends on shows. You pay take a show like Tosca, and Angelotti is is a is a lead role. He's a principal role. He's the bass role, but he's only in Act One, so he's not going to be that singer is not going to be called to a lot of the rehearsals. He'll only be need to be at a third of the rehearsals, if that, because he's really only in two scenes in Act One. So. It really depends on how much of the show you are singing in, but for a principal, like Violetta in Traviata, um, Cavaradossi or Tosca in Tosca, um, you know, um, Mimi Rodolfo in Bohem, they are going to be expected to be at almost every rehearsal because you just can't do it without them. Um, so I hope that answers your question a bit. Let us know if there is anything else that you'd like to us to further discuss. And thank you everyone for joining in. We will see you all tomorrow. Thanks, take care, and be safe.